All right, back again Luke here. And as you can see in front of you, today we have out another arcade PCB. And this one is made by Taito. And I figured we could put in this game here. Taito's Bonze Adventure, or Boon's Adventure, or Jigo Kumeguri. <laughs> Whichever one you like. So, but let's pop this on and play some of that. Let the kind of intro roll through here. It's not much of an intro, but we'll let it go through. Nevertheless, the old switch. Turn off the old lights. Should be plenty dark. <laughs> but it's one of those games I figured would be pretty good for the holiday season here. Not sure if we can get this any better. Let me zoom in a little bit more. That might be better. Let's see about adjusting this. It's gonna be tricky to get everything in the picture, I suppose. Maybe we can try right about there. So let's go ahead, pop in a coin, and we'll give this a try. As you can see, this is all in English, but we have our High Priestess Bonze, Bones, Boom, Booze, Boat, whichever way you want to say it. There are seven stages to this game, and it's very similar to a Ghosts and Goblins in the fact that you have one hit and then you die. So, I know in Ghosts and Goblins you have two hits, but in general, this game is really unforgiving. So, but really cool graphics. You can see uh, some of the things that pop out at you, they will knock you backwards. You'll see that this is flashing. You gotta watch out for the grass because there's always a snake in the grass. <laughs> yeah, like I said, something kind of go along with the holiday season here. There's a variety of different weapons you can get. You'll notice that I'm picking up quite a few of these uh, Mamori kind of... Uh, this is an invincibility. Has an interesting sound to it. But picking up these lucky charms along the way give us extra points. Oh, we're almost over with our. There we go. And uh, you can get different size balls. <laughs> I know it doesn't sound right at all. Um, <laughs> Well, snake. Watch out for the snake. Yeah, so, um... <laughs> yeah, you can get, uh... <laughs> red balls and green balls and blue balls. <laughs> and, uh, big balls and small balls. <laughs> like, you know that this is never gonna come out right. <laughs> but they all have different, uh, attacks. Um, there's one that has an electric charge to it, which is kind of cool. This is just the regular one. You also have a special attack that you can use... Uh, by pressing both the buttons together. But... The thing about this stage here is you gotta stay on the ladders. In order to get up to the next part over here. But... The game just kind of rolls along. There's not really a whole lot... Oh, there's another snake. There aren't uh, a lot of bosses. There is one boss uh, after each couple of stages, or a few stages. But we're going on to our second stage here, Nicho Me. But uh, yeah, the Jigoku Meguri basically means like a kind of stroll around hell, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. Japanese names are so unique kind of tell it, tell it how it is. <laughs> it's got some great music to it. Graphics and everything, really, really nice. I <laughs> love how you can kind of jump over things. You can't really float upstream, but yeah, you can jump your boat. 
There's some paths in this game that will take you on a longer path. There are other paths that will take you to uh, a shortcut. Some paths are just the wrong way to go all in, all together. Like, they're just too difficult or... Yeah. Like that bottom row there, that's a really tricky path to take. If you get the same color uh, multiple times, you can actually get a uh, size increase here. But yeah. These enemies are relentless. Whoa. Oh, that was cheap! Did you see that? <laughs> it just came out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, this is a little priestess here that will send down some items for you. But like I said, there's an easy way to go and then there's a difficult one. So, uh, this water here can actually kill you if you touch it. So, oh jeez, and I jumped right on the uh, floating spirit there. <laughs> Everything in this game is just out to get you. So. Constantly got to keep watching. Ugh, not like that. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a little bit further here without dying so much. Ooh. Yeah, just the slightest touch of the water there will take you out. Here's the end of this stage here. You'll notice there's some flames, candles at the bottom. Those are the hits that you have before you have to continue. And the game is quite forgiving in some senses. It'll allow you to start off in um, wherever the checkpoint is in the game. But uh, if you don't do well enough, it'll start criticizing you, saying things like, you're a, you're a bad player or you should do... Uh, <laughs> better, or something like that. Ooh, I think that guy was going to hit me. Um, like, here's one of those places where you can actually take two routes. You can take the top route, or you can take the bottom route. I think the top route is longer. Right, we'll give it a try and see. Overall, I figured this would be... Whoa, you gotta watch out for the spikes there. Pretty suitable game here for the Halloween season. Follows a lot of the traditional kind of Japanese lore. So, this one you gotta be careful if you... I think I might have... Oh, I'm okay. Yeah. If you uh, break all those blocks, you can't get up here and get the extra points. But couple of tricks down well below, and I did not time that. Get really close to the, uh, the point here where it says, game over. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Just nothing, uh, no shot came out. <laughs> it's just a... Uh, not launching. Sorry, but you're not up to the mission. Well, I think we can play just a little bit longer. <laughs> Although that may be true here. So, let's just put in AAA. You have the until the candle burns out there to continue, but you'll notice here it started us off and it's given us our weapon, which has allowed us to keep that, which is nice. That's part of the super weapon there. Here's uh, the zombies and the bodies and everything, the evil spirits falling from the from the sky there. Got some skeletons. And... But yeah, like I said, I think this is the longer section. You can go a much shorter way by taking the bottom route there. But, uh, let's see. This is tricky too. So you gotta 
hope that this will... Okay, that's not going to hit. Yeah, this is where it would bring you normally. We're coming up on our first boss here. Hopefully with this weapon should be relatively easy. I don't know. That being said, you gotta watch out for his shot. Um, the more times you hit him, the more he starts throwing out. So you'll notice he went from three up to four now, and he's gonna change it up to about five or six here. Uh, well, maybe not. Okay, we're able to beat him there. We can go into our next stage here. If you ever wondered, uh, you know, with the, uh, what was it, Super Mario Brothers 3, this statue here, this is kind of a Buddhist, uh, Buddhist or Shinto uh, kind of shrine, so, you know, with the, uh, with Mario, how he could turn into it. It's kind of interesting to see some of those things in games, you know, where they utilize the same thing years uh, before, years later. This game was made in 1992, I believe. Uh, these eyeballs here will uh, bounce you along, but the face that you have kind of rolling behind you is something... Whoa! Uh, gotta watch out there. There's uh, blood down below. But that face behind there is something you can't destroy. It'll come and hit you. So. Oh no, oh no, ah, totally missed it, misjudged that. That's right, gonna start me here, uh, that's tricky. You gotta watch out for the spikes in the ceiling there. Oh jeez. Well, he is not messing around. Oh, this is going to be fun timing. Oh. Yep, we're going to wind up continuing, I think, again. Oh, now it's going to bring us here again. Okay, nice. It brought us towards the end of the, the stage here. But you'll notice this stage doesn't have any sound, uh, any music, just sound effects. But it is a really interesting game here. The end stage is just ridiculous. Um, it's it just ramps up the difficulty like tenfold. This is uh, <laughs> when health freezes over, I suppose. <laughs> it's really interesting to have it as uh, you know a section in hell where you're kind of going through uh, going through the cold. This had to be a developer kind of joke. You know, when they were making the game, just like, you know what we need? We need it. We need hell to freeze open. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize there was a, uh, one of those slimes in there. So you gotta watch out for the guy above, yeah? You gotta watch out for the slime here. Somehow his shots can go through the, uh, through the ice there. Oh, jeez, that was stupid. Ha, <laughs> uh, just the timing. Somehow you can stand on these spikes, but you can't run into them. Oh, jeez. Brutal difficulty. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You still need training. All right. We're going to try one more, just for fun. All right. Let's start it up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Name, whatever. Give it a shot. I didn't realize I already had one coin in there, too, so... As you can see there, I could land right on top of that, which is quite interesting. But the really cool thing is, like I said, it, oh my gosh, <laughs> it allows you to keep your uh, your life uh, upgrades, but on the downside here, it really does test you. Oh my gosh, I didn't see the one jumping from above. <laughs> You can see how nice they are. Um, after they, they brutally destroy you, they do allow you to 
start at a decent spot here. Oh my gosh, I couldn't get I couldn't get under there. <laughs> but nevertheless, just want to share with you guys a bit of a look at what Jigoku Meguri or Bonze's Adventure, Bonze Adventure, Boone's Adventure looks like here for the old arcade, old Taito arcade, and it is definitely a game you will remember one way or another. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but nevertheless, if you're stuck on this song, then fantastic. That's about all for me for right now. Oh my gosh, I didn't see the ones below. So. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So, thanks for watching. I'm watching some really difficult gameplay here. Will it start me? Oh, it's going to start me off with this, this guy here. I don't know if we can get through him or not. Oh, jeez. Just to show you how brutal this can get. Uh, come on. It should, there we go. But just so many hits here. I think I had a couple of power upgrades at one point as well, so. Imagine this with no power upgrades. I think the top route is the best way to go if we can get up there. Keyword is if we can get up there. Oh no. I got trapped down below here. Oh geez, why did I get. <laughs> Just sliding, sliding, sliding. here are, oh jeez, yeah, definitely not fun. <laughs> oh, now he's not going to come up, oh, now he's going to come up, oh jeez, now you're not going to die. <laughs> Probably should have ended this one here a little while ago. Oh my gosh, you are so cheap. Anyway, that's where we're going to end it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed a little bit of a look at this game here. And we'll try to put up some more videos when we get a chance. Let's help the candle burn down here. Bye-bye, candle! And that's the end.